Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Greg Techni Rise in Season 2. I am just debating crafting up some of these energy orb clusters so we can upgrade our, our battery because it is 100% full right now. And. I'm not using anywhere near enough power to empty it, so it feels a little bad. We are avoiding a whole bunch of power, but really at this point, it doesn't really matter. Now, I realized right after I quit recording yesterday that it is pretty easy to figure out how much plasma we are producing. Uh, if we look at the recipe... We are producing 125 liters every 16 ticks. And you can double check. It does say on there the recipe is 16 ticks on the tooltip. So basically, if we wanted to do this at the most possible that we are producing, you basically just put in 125 liters per 16 ticks. And that'll be the exact amount of plasma that we are producing from one thing and it actually turns out that produces uh just like just slightly under 19,200 so i think it's 19,040 liters per tick the helium plasma is producing from our fusion reactor so I can actually run one of these trinium large turbines um, but I am there's no way I can even get that much power out of it I would need 3.45 million EU per tick I can't get even with a UV buffer um, the energy I guess it would be dynamo, wouldn't it? Uh, the energy... Yeah, the buffered one, which is four times. That's not even big enough for that. And pretty sure... I have tried these. I would double check in... I could double check in my testing world. But I'm pretty sure these tech tech multiple amp dynamos do not work it is only a regular dynamo or the buffered although i tested that in the large hp turbine i don't think i tested them in the super critical steam turbine so i don't know but uh yeah so at this point i mean we would probably just have to do multiple turbines since there's no way i can get that much power out with a large tritium turbine, even though we produce that much steam. Um, but I have it down pretty low at the moment. Wanted a little bit of a buffer. I think we can put it back to the 25 liters per second. So uh, we are just about, we're just slightly over. I could even probably do slightly under, actually. How do we do that? I think it's 2080. Eh, that's actually a bit... Like, that's slowly draining, as you can see. I mean, it's not... <laughs> it's gonna drain so, so slowly. Yeah, we'll leave it. Once it gets down to, like, about there, maybe I'll do it. Uh, you can't really see the steam too well, but... Uh, yeah, so that is our, our power. Uh, it is tearing through that turbine, but that is a little bit of a pain. I wonder, see, I, I don't particularly want to have it turning on and off because it does lose, it does lose uh, efficiency turning on and off, so it's, if it's doing that constantly, I think that would just be 
be bad. So we'll just leave it and uh, not worry, worry, worry about it too much. All right, so what do we want to do today? I think it is time to do the crystal circuits now. We have really upped our our power gen. I think it's time to work on the crystal chips. Now we need europium. Um, you can do this in low gravity or you can use the LPF but not a PA. Uh, unfortunately our I never replaced this. This is our autoclave. Um, so I actually need to upgrade this, I think, to a large processing factory. That's not the end of the world. We'll do that. Um, yeah, so I'll do that and, uh, that will, uh, we'll replace that and we'll start working on these chips. Now, the first one you get takes a very long time there's only a 10 percent chance 600 second recipe i mean hv we're at iv i think i can't remember what we're actually at um but you do go through a lot of olivine and emerald getting that first one but once you get it you can break it down into nine chip parts and then you can autoclave that back with some more europium to get a raw crystal chip now if you don't want to use europium because it does you know you do use a bunch and uh we are using our fusion reactor or plasma at the moment so it's a bit harder to produce europium but uh you can use bacterial sludge or mutagen but these do not have a hundred percent I mean, if you do bacterial sludge, you're a 60% chance, so in theory, you would get enough of the raw crystal chips. You get nine of these, so in theory, you would get multiple. But uh, I think you can actually... I thought you could get that on Mars. I can't... I can't remember though. It might have been. I thought it was like something. There's something on. I thought one of them was it spawned on Bart Mars. I don't remember though. But that is its whole thing. So I think what we're just gonna do is the Europium line, and we'll have to set up. I think but before we do that let's get our thing auto uh, upgraded and uh i've forgotten how expensive this actually is <laughs> well iv is not not too bad but it does use quite a bit of process uh, circuits which uh we are trying to upgrade those so we no longer have to use these and there we go it wasn't Bad at all. So I'm going to throw one ingots worth in here. I'm going to throw a bunch of olivine in there. And hopefully... Did hook this up, right? Yes. I upgraded to LUV. I figured, why not? I had an extra patch on me. There we go. Alright, so four seconds. That's not... Oh, wow. That just did that whole bunch. Did that not? Hold on. Something just, I don't know what it did. What did it do? Did it just do? I might need to. I might have it on the wrong mode, actually. Hold on. Let me grab the thing. I thought it was. I think I used a lathe. Whoops. Oh, metal. I have it on the wrong one. 
I need it on misc. Whoops. All right. Well, we have lots of them. I just made a whole bunch of lenses. I went one too far. Whoops. Yep, there are the 16 lenses we just made. <laughs> All right, should we try that again? Thankfully, we have a whole bunch of olivine. All right, so yeah, there we go. I thought that four seconds or whatever was pretty quick. All right, it did all nine at once. So, hopefully, we will get a raw crystal chip from that. Now, question is, how are we... I'm going to have to set up our own little... I could probably actually use this IV... <clears throat> Autoclave. Maybe I'll do that and a hammer, maybe, or something like that. It's one of those recipes where it's like you need this item to create this item to create that original item, and it doesn't work well with AE. You can trick it. But it, uh, like if we do this recipe, we'll do a storage bus with the raw crystal chips. And then tell it to put the, the raw crystal chip parts in there with like a crafting thing with a forge hammer. It's kind of how you get around that. Alright, so did we... Yes, we got one. Alright, so nine... Nine, we got one. So just over the 10%. All right, cool. So. Yeah, I don't want to use this one. I want to use this one to get more. So I guess we'll do. Yeah, let's do this recipe. Put that on the forge. Hammer. Is it called something different? Oh, I'm doing the wrong. Just kidding. I should be doing it over here. <laughs> there it is. I was like, why isn't it popping up? Sometimes. Yeah, so we'll do this. And then, yeah, how do I want to do this? This is, this is IV over here. Now, I don't want to use all my europium is the thing. I should probably, kind of similar to how I've thrown these, maybe do... Maybe just to have like one extra so I can make a new one. Just in case I use them all up and didn't realize and then I would have to do that 10% recipe again, which I don't want to do. Uh, Alright, so I guess storage bus. For now, I guess we'll do this. Is that what I want to do? And then export. I have no idea if this is actually going to work. Definitely not going to work because we are full on channels over here. I need to sort out my channels. Eventually I was going to break down all these machines I just they work fine there's no point to like break all this stuff down when it's not 
causing issues. Alright. So. I guess I can just do... No, we'll come up. Alright, we actually don't need this here. I have 64 of these. We don't need these right now. Let's just break this and get it out of the way. Actually, let's do this. I hate when stuff doesn't stack in the A system. And now it'll stack. All right. Yeah, I can just go this way. Let's throw... Do I have an anchor? No. Just to separate these out. Yeah, that works. Now we're going to do extract only. Um, I don't have the thing yet. Oops. Because I broke it down. We'll do... I don't know. I may just do a stack and throw it in there. For the time being. We'll do that. That. And then that on there. So it'll create those. Put them in there. So basically I'm not I'm not gonna tell the the A system that this is a recipe. It's just gonna go off the storage bus and then it'll keep putting them in there to fill up that 64. Eventually we're gonna need more, but I think that'll be fine. Yeah, and then also eventually we'll have molten europium just automatically filling that. Let's... I don't know why I decided to go to this fluid extractor, but... Yeah, because... This only uses 16 liters, so I mean... That'll be a decent amount of crystal chips that we'll make. Right, I do need able. Technically, we could. Oh, no, that only outputs four amps. Yeah, we won't burn up cables. But technically, if everything turns on, we could maybe overload it, but I don't think it'll be a problem. Alright, so that, and that. Alright, so that is a 150 seconds. That's not exactly a slow recipe. Uh, would be faster in there, the autoclave over there, but... Uh, Maybe we'll, I'll upgrade it. I just kind of wanted to have it separate and crafting up before we did that. And let's just double check this doesn't, no, this doesn't need to be in space or anything. All right. So that is the, no, that is this part. Now, next part, we need... This... Also, I need to I need to work on radon, which we will just pump, but I need to craft that whole thing up. All right, I think we'll just do emerald. Do I have I do have a thing for that. I mean, both we have tons of, so Yeah, I'll just do that. 
and guess I'll throw it on. Yeah, we might as well throw it on here. All right. Still waiting for that to finish up, but after we get this engraved crystal chip, we will throw it in the laser engraver, which we have upgraded, so we are good. And that is on Emerald. I think we have a Terra lens, don't we? I don't remember. Oh, no. Ender Eye. Diamond. Green Sapphire. Oh no. Do we not have a... Hmm. Oh, there it is. I knew we had one. I just didn't remember where it was. I could name these. That would make sense, but I'm not going to do it right now, though. All right, uh, need to turn that off. <laughs> but we can basically see what happened. It created one, and then it took it to break down to make more crystal parts and put them back in. So that is basically what we're doing. But I needed that <laughs> before it, uh, it did that. All right, and then that is the crystal line. And then after that... Have we not done a quest for these advanced things before? I mean, we've been using them forever. I think the first, the crystal line, I think we actually need. I can never remember what the easiest way to search the crystal. Crystal processor, that's what it is. So. Yeah, let's throw that over there. So basically, we're going to want to craft this up. Now, if we do this in a regular circuit assembler, it is six times one. We don't want that. We're going to actually have to craft them up in the circuit assembly line. Uh, that way, it is a one-to-one -one ratio. But the very first one we have to craft up is going to be done in the circuit assembler. LUV. Do we have an LUV circuit assembler in there? I don't remember. Yeah, we do. See, that's why I color my cables. I can just look at that and be like, oh yeah, that's LUV. Okay, so... I'll do a recipe for this. Just It's like a very temporary recipe. Need to do it in the correct one. Oh, Molten Indoloy. That is different. Is it molten? Oh, it is molten in Deloy in the circuit line. All right, and now I, I'm actually going to have to make recipes for these as well. The only issue with the circuit assembly line, one, it's much quicker, but you need to do them 16 at a time. So I'm going to need 16 of these before I can actually craft up the circuits. Let's do... We'll throw that in there. And do I have everything for this? Obviously, we don't have the raw crystal chips. We need six more. But everything else I have recipes for. So, yeah, that is... I mean, that's pretty much why I just make recipes for every single possible thing at this point. All right. So, I'm going to have to kind of wait for this. Because it is slow, I obviously we could have... Uh, maybe I'll speed... Hold on. Maybe I should... <laughs> change the plan, maybe? I just kind of wanted to have its own single block, because then it gets backlogged. Whereas the multi-block is much more complicated. Doing that. But it is... Yeah, it is much quicker. What did we just do? How many did I put in there? I think it's doing 16. 
<laughs> in half the time. Okay, until I get this sorted out, I'm just going to... I just did that manually. 16 of them made like 100 and something of the chips, so... There we go, we got four raw crystal chips. And, uh... Let's do... I guess this is the final part. This actually running. Did it? Is that like... Oh, yep, there it is. Both those are very quick. All right, so there we go. There is the crystal chip recipe. I do need a few more of those, which we shall get in about 30 seconds. And... Let me quickly do the advanced SMD stuff. Oh, I need to make recipes for... I don't know if I have enough of... I need more SMD diodes. Yeah, I'll make recipes for... Oh, tellurium. There is a reason I decided to go a different route, and I don't remember. I was like, we're going to get an easier way to get this tellurium stuff, and I... If you have an old word you get it from... Uh... We can actually open the Everglades now, Toxic Everglades, but I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, we could just make Rare Earth 3. I think we only have to do this like one time. If I... Eh, maybe not. We might need to do this a few times. <laughs> but we get a whole bunch of these. All right, let me work on that part. All right, uh, I decided to go this route with lead ore. Um, I'm just going to delete this stuff. I basically just went to the Twilight Forest. Actually, Galena. Cryolite, we don't need anymore. Delete that. I don't need that or that. Galena, we can actually hold on to, but... We needed crushed lead was a way to do this. And basically you just do oh, you put that in a glass melter. But you need the crushed version and you get two tellurium. Uh, nuggets. So I'm just going to do... I think I got 40. I got 40 uh, lead. And I got one from a tiny one. So we'll just throw this in here, I guess. I don't even really need to throw it in this for fast one, but... Let's just throw it in here. Kind of silly to waste. Uh, to waste cryothium. What I was trying to say. <laughs> Got a little distracted. Alright, so that was pretty quick. Did it get us our tellurium? Yes. Alright, so. There we go. Um, is it? I'm just thinking... What's the... probably turn it into ingots. Didn't I have one? I thought I had a... I kind of borrowed it. Remember... Maybe I took it out. I don't remember. I thought I had one sitting in here. Actually, do we have enough? I 
Two stacks. Yeah, I think we just have enough, actually. For 15 ingots. Alright, so that will be that. We mix it with bismuth. I guess... I guess I could make recipes for this. I definitely hope we get an easier way. You get this stuff in the future. Chemical reactor. I think we're just using this, aren't we? Yeah. That's three more. Okay, we just have enough. Yeah, I really hope we don't have to do it that way again. Uh, the main problem is I had... I had already processed all our, our lead, so I had to go get more. I was actually... <laughs> I didn't realize we were going to need crushed lead. I had already... Already taken care of it, so that's kind of funny. Alright, so Tellurium. Yep. That was quick. And there we go. So here is the Bismuth. We need Cubic Zirconia Dust. And we're going to need this... Rasolite. Okay, I am back. And what I ended up doing is going to Ross 128B and just manually mining up, I think about 80 ore. It's pretty easy to find uh, lots of ores and it's not too rare. So I just did that to get the Preciolite stuff. And uh, I am just working on the cubic zirconia. And you get this with zirconium and ytterium oxide in the EBF. So it's, I believe it's 10 to and 1. Yes, 10 zirconium, 1 ytterium oxide with a bunch of oxygen gas gets you 40 lod of that. I guess I could make a recipe. Ooh, why didn't that pop up? Zirconium yttrium oxide. That was a bit funny. And we'll do... I doubt it needs to be in some fancy... Nichrome. Yeah, we'll just throw it in. Yeah. I do have to kind of sort out my recipes, to be honest. Alright, so cubic zirconia. That is 10 seconds, actually, even at ZPM. Alright, did I just... does it not consume that? Is that why? Did I not notice that? Oh, it does not get consumed in the process. Well, that's... That's something. <laughs> that will end up clogging up my thing eventually. Alright, anyway. We got our cubic zirconia. Now I need the two dust, so I guess we'll just pulverize it. That's 20 small dust. That's f five. So 10 zirconium gets you five cubic zirconia dust. These recipes are so random. Oh, 
Really? I can't put it together? Apparently it is a shaped recipe. Alright, so yeah, we, oh, we get 20. So 10 zirconia gets you 20 zirconia dust. Alright, so I did those three. Uh, the next bit is magneto dust. Magneto something something. I guess we should do a recipe for that mix. Doesn't have a doesn't have a number, so we'll just kind of throw it in. One of these random ones. We need 18. Not 183. <laughs> 18. I don't even know how we would do that cubic zirconia recipe. Without it leaving a, a dust in the thing. There is that. All right, so basically we're working towards this. So I need circuit compound dust. We will need to make recipes for that. But uh, unfortunately, we are running out of time. So this is a little bit time consuming until you can get all this stuff uh, crafted up. Again, doesn't have a number, we'll just throw it in there. Mix the indium gallium, the circuit compound dust, and then we need 18 of these. So again, I guess we'll do the printing board. In the yeah I don't know if like do I even have a thing for I think this is the one for just random stuff Alright, did we get the... Okay, so we got that. And then the next pick is this. Now, this is an annoying 75% chance recipe. <laughs> but, uh... I think we are... Ah, that's annoying. I could just make a recipe with 18 of these and see how many we get, and we'll just do it in this. But uh, we'll have to come back next episode and uh, we'll get our imprint and we will start getting the crystal circuits so it is a little bit of a chore getting going here but moving forward it should it should be easier uh, moving forward hopefully but anyway that's going to be it for today so thanks for watching and have a good one